How would you feel about a law requiring parents that receive child support to supply the court with proof of how the child support money is being spent? Who decides whether taking a child to check HEs is appropriate eyes of money? Keep the government away from citizens' lives. Work for JDRC courts, and although this would probably fall under DCSE, their workload is already outstanding for how much the make and the hours they have to work, this would never work out well. Maybe someone should make sure the child support actually gets paid before worrying about all this. I think the law would be redundant. Every child has needs that must be met or risk CPS involvement. Beyond needs or wants and trying to codify what wants are necessary is a super sticky problem. Every culture and community will be different on this and would be impossible to create a universal standard. Thus, I don't see the point of this other than to give anti-government types something to scream government overreach at. The court system does not have time to babysit everyone who receives child support. I also dislike the idea that under this model there's a presumption that child support money is misspent. There should only be monitoring after a showing of misconduct. Because it would suddenly turn that everything but bare necessities is an unaffordable luxury. My friend's father threw a tantrum when he saw that he got new shoes because second hand is enough, not that he himself bought his wardrobe here, refused to pay for any vacations, edit, boy scouts camp, or repair his bike. Emo, no. I pay my daughter's father, and trust he does what is best. If their family is struggling with expenses, so is my daughter because she is part of that family too. That's just how I see it. Now, if they went and got into a bunch of financial trouble that was just completely unnecessary, and he couldn't bounce back, maybe that would be grounds to get full custody through the courts. If he couldn't balance the budget appropriately, it would no longer be in her interest to keep her in that household. No. Most of the single parents I know are just barely coping. Juggling kids, housework, often study and everything else. Someone thinks it is a good idea to add to the burden and make a stressful, hard job more so? I would be for it, however, the reason why no law exists is because it would be insanely difficult and expensive to enforce. Think about it. Export the brand name cereal instead of the no-name brand. You see that on her grocery bill, no way. Not on my watch. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. You're laughing. Ha ha, no way anyone would be so petty, nope. Enforcing accountability in child support provided expenses just opens up the worst legal can of worms imaginable. Edit, as for why I'd like to see it, I don't have any visibility into how my money gets spent and it irks me. Furthermore, my ex frequently rings up and asks for the next support payment early. Yes, oftentimes there are valid reasons so-and-so needed shoes, fees for school trips, etc. But I also know she spends way above her means on a lot of fun, entertainment-based discretionary things, then she realizes, whoops, can't buy groceries. Tee hee. Please? So she gets to be the fun parent. Welp kids, looks like we're going for long walks in the park again this weekend. Hooray for the library. Edit 2, okay, 600 replies. Child support is contentious on Reddit. So far, the themes are. Yes, it's 2017, we should have the technology to implement this. Maybe some magic debit card or EBT style. No, current child support departments are bunged up enough, this would kill them. Stop giving in to your ex, if she asks for money early in the future just ask what she needs specifically and buy it for her, then take that off the subsequent payment, good idea. People are petty. So put a law like this in motion. But to prevent abuse, the cost for an audit is borne by the parent who asked for it, or variations on that, I underscore like underscore that idea. Artichoke sculpture, okay we got a sprog in here. How would you implement that? A parent has to pay for food for the child and themselves, are you going to ask for two receipts each time? What about the cost of gas, providing a home, electricity, internet, or TV expenses? Do you split all those up proportionally? I get the argument that the parent could spend all the money on themselves but there's no good way to police it. Child support is supposed to go to everything that it requires to raise a child, which includes sports and clothes for them but also a lot of shared expenses with the adult. Edit, a lot of responses saying put it on a card that limits purchase types. Again how would you implement an approved list of purchase types? 
It takes much more than food and clothes to raise a child. The point of child support is to make sure the child can maintain the lifestyle that would have been afforded to them if both parents were together. I had a TV in my room, should child support pay for that? Well if there was never a divorce I probably would have had it anyway so child support should go towards that. What about a vacation? I only ever vacation with my custodial parent, should child support help to pay my plan ticket? Child support isn't just to ensure that I wasn't on the street, it's meant to maintain the lifestyle that was planned for me when both parents were together. Isn't the point of child support to raise the overall condition of the primary household? If they are doing illegal things with the money or are negligent with the child, that's an issue that needs to be brought forward to the courts. If not, how they spend it is on them. I hate giving one-fifth of my money to someone that takes care of my kid roughly 5% more than I do, but I understand the logic. The money is not the kids and does not go to them. It goes to the person who has primary or full custody. I guess here's my problem with that. Say I get $200 in child support and $1,800 from my job. I spend $500 on stuff for my kid, but I also spend $200 on a giant box of dildos for myself. I can just see cranky exes wasting time in court about spending child support money on dildos. I truly hate this question. My ex had a job up until child support was to be paid and he quit, 7 years ago, so he could cry poverty and have his support amount lowered. He then proceeded to have 4 more children and still neither he or his girlfriend work. He doesn't pay the support until I take him to court where I pay for a lawyer and he gets a county paid public defender and he weasels his way out of jail time by paying a small lump sum. I don't need his money and I have worked two jobs to support my child this whole time so I'll be damned to have to prove how I spend it. Don't you mean, who's willing to pay higher taxes so the courts can hire more people to monitor everyone's personal life? How much money would it waste reviewing and verifying this proof? People who think this is a good idea have never worked with parents and separated children. I worked for CPS for three years, and people will come up with any reason to discredit people with their child. Kid has a bruise? Abuse. Kid has a braid now? Why didn't they ask me? Kid says he has a bad day at school? Must be being psychologically tormented. Parents will dispute the brand of cereal they buy, the cost of their haircuts, and how much these kids actually need the things that are bought for them. Did they need a toy over new jeans? Must be neglecting them. Childcare courts are clogged as it is, we don't need vindictive mothers, fathers going over line by line every expenditure and arguing what it is, is not good expenditures for their children. It's one of those things that sounds good in theory but will be too costly and impractical to do. Asterisk asterisk edit for clarification, asterisk asterisk for the people arguing with me, yes I already know there's no real way for it to work. I simply mean that it sounds good on the surface but once you start trying to figure out how to do it the whole idea falls apart. It would be pointless in almost all cases. Money is fungible, so all one would have to do is provide receipts for food, clothing, bills, etc., which almost everyone has. Plus, don't we have enough bureaucracy already? Now we're going to set up a new division of the government whose sole purpose is to nanny single parents, who already have enough to take care of on their own. Horrible idea. No. It would be nitpicky and callous and would waste an incredible amount of the court's time and money. Amazes me the amount of overlap between people who advocate this and people who advocate having the government get off their backs. I would feel as strongly as I would about welfare recipients supplying the courts with evidence of how their welfare money is spent. The courts are busy enough as it is, we don't need the government babysitting us any further. If an individual is granted child support, how they choose to spend that money is entirely up to them. The courts should only get involved if there is actual evidence of misuse or that if the child is suffering or being neglected. I grew up with a single mum that struggled to get by. She had three part-time jobs at one point and money was always an issue. The child support had to go to whatever was needed at the time. Sometimes stuff like clothes for me but other times on things I bet people would think was frivolous. Perhaps the car needed to be fixed or something that's not directly related to supporting a kid. Having to document what you spend the money on would be demeaning to people who already are in a shitty situation. It sounds like something you'd hear about in countries we'd rather not compare ourselves to. 
the comments about saving receipts, keeping track of expenses, etc. sounds like a lot of work to add on to a single parent's list of responsibilities. It may not seem like it, but taking kids to and from various after-school programs, to and from daycare, school, and then working 40-plus hours a week all while managing the household alone are a lot to handle without the added responsibilities some people are suggesting. I understand that seeing things itemized or tracked would make the parent paying child support feel more at ease about where the money is going. The easiest way to see that your child is being taken care of appropriately is to just talk to your child during visitation and take part in your child's life as well. Most single parents aren't blowing all their money on themselves. The majority of middle-class single parents spend all the child support on their child's necessities and then spend a large portion of their own income on their child's wants and needs as well, while making large sacrifices to their own lifestyle. As a kid of divorced parents, I think it's not a good idea. When my parents got divorced, my dad was a successful attorney and my mum was a stay-at-home mum with a little work experience in retail. My dad didn't want custody of my sister and I, and my mum really couldn't support us. She was able to use child support money to get herself a degree and start a career that benefited us greatly in the long run as it set my mum up with a decent career. My dad and his second wife were always angry when they saw we had shoes that were getting old or jeans that were getting a little short, and my sister and I would hear about how he was giving my mum all this money for nothing. As soon as we turned 18, he summarily quit paying anything and didn't offer to help with college at all. If he had been able to use the legal system to compel my mum to spend child support in a specific way, I might never have gone to college and my mum might still be working a register at department stores with no hope of retirement and probably on some kind of welfare. As it is, she was able to help us with school and she'll be retiring next year because she's been a medical technologist working in a lab at a local hospital for the last 25 years. Consider subscribing?